All right, guys, I wanted to take a just a minute to show you kind of in a follow-up video how this is actually working now that we've got it in, uh, in practice here. So I've got it hooked up, of course, to the FTSS kit, and this is the heating and chilling one. Uh, so you've got the two wires, the pump and the heater coming off of here. Uh, the pump obviously drives the pump that lives inside of this bath right here. Uh, this is the glycol bath. I did end up finding glycol locally uh, and ended up ordering uh, three uh, gallons of it and diluted it with water up to about, uh, I want to say the 10 gallon mark total. So you can see the pumps down in the front here, the thermometer, and then of course in the back we've got the wave maker to stir this around and make sure we've got a consistent temperature throughout. I've got the actual glycol chiller set to 36 degrees. And for the fermentation that we're doing right now, uh, that seems to do a pretty good job. 36 is, is about where we want to be. Uh, it doesn't cycle unnecessarily. Uh, we're fermenting at around 56. I believe the set point is 56 degrees. It is. And uh, there's about a degree and a half swing uh, from uh, when it chills to when it stops chilling. So you go from 57 to 55 roughly, uh, but it holds a pretty consistent 56. Now, when the fermentation is complete and we drive this up uh, to kind of do the diacetyl rest at the end, uh, we'll get that up near probably 67 degrees, and then we'll drive it back down uh, using the same chiller setup that we're using now. Now, I have found that this is pretty much limited to 38 degrees, so I can get this vessel, seven gallons, uh, down to about 38 degrees. Anything less than that, uh, and I start to have problems with the uh, actual beer inside there, uh, freezing up on me, so it just doesn't transfer the the chiller. Um, it doesn't transfer the the, the uh, actual chilling uh, capacity very well. When I do bring it down to 38, I actually drive this temperature down uh, to almost 28 degrees, and you can go much lower than that. Uh, but anything below 28, and we start to cycle really, really quickly uh, on and off to keep that that temperature uh, down where we want it. So. I just wanted to do a little follow-up video, talk a little bit about how it's worked for me. Uh, I think we've done 25 gallons this summer on it, and it's been a really hot summer. Uh, ambience down in the basement have reached up to 80 degrees, so uh, this has worked out really well in letting me kind of explore some of the different varieties of, of beer that I probably wouldn't have been able to do uh, normally. So uh, thanks for watching. Check out the other video if you want to know how we built this. Again, it's about $125 top to bottom, not including, of course, all the chiller set up here for the conical. Thanks a lot, guys. Take it easy.